streams. Of course, uh, you people who are more in tune with the local scene will already know Oryx, and uh, if you have paid attention to Smash at all within the last year, you will be familiar with the man on the left. That is, of course, Lima, one of the greatest Bayonetta players to ever pick up a GameCube controller. And oh, yeah. my goodness, as that transferred to this game. And now we're seeing Oryx. So Oryx has been working on a Joker for a minute. There was a couple of weeklies that he entered exclusively with Joker and got a little bit less than his uh, traditional placings. But you'll see he's grinding the character, leveling up. He went Peach in the last matchup that I saw, but he might actually now be developing what matchups he wants to go Joker in. And he knows that Lima has both the Bayo and the Peach. Maybe he doesn't want to go for the Ditto. He thinks Joker wins that matchup. And MKLeo is definitely showing how well he's done against Sam Sora with Joker, so I can see it. Yeah, and also, I mean, I think that Bayonetta at high key does really well against floaty characters because uh -huh. she's all about that crazy combo game in this game. And wow, Lima's. Nuts. That was a really fresh witch time, which is important because normally even stalled a little bit does not stall you very much. Really smart to lay on the recovery from Lima to deal with downward guns. Was able to answer with her own upward guns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bayonetta can guns in any direction she pleases. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna guess Joker can. Just nobody uses up guns. Though, yeah, it's all. not good. It's, it's not, not good. Great. Yeah. There, I mean, there might be some niche uses for it, but it's definitely. The, the thing is, down guns are like a polarizing, very strong move. I wonder if a snake ciphers into the top blast zone and you hit him with up guns, does he die? Yeah, I think so. And taking taking any damage when you're in there kills you. Wow. I would love to see that. And I'd also love to see Orcs make this comeback too, though, because I mean, as much as I love Lima, uh, Joker with Arsene is pretty hype, as ridiculous as he is. Ooh. He definitely can kill very early, but Lima's sitting at the very dangerous percent. Like a back air could do it. Back air could do it without Arsene. I think that at this point, a back air from Orcs at the ledge would do it as well. And now with that air dodge, he's gone. Orcs down to the last stock. About 20% of meter filled, but it's climbing because Bayo's getting this combo. Trying to reset with the landing fair, but uh, the delay was too much. Oryx was able to DI out. Dude, it's almost to the point where Oryx could be holding Rebel's Guard the entire time he's getting comboed, and it really wouldn't make a difference by the end of the combo yeah. as to whether or not he has our set. Retreats the just putting on so much damage. And look at that, they're finally picking up that first stock, but boy, it took a while. For a Look, light Lima's character like Bayo. Waiting out that Arsene, now it's gone. And now Lima gets to uh, eat savagely as he chooses. Okay, that was so smart. Empty landing with back facing Oryx, and then goes for the up special immediately called jump. Here we go, Oryx has got his combo started. Doesn't turn himself around to give himself the opportunity for the grappling hook. I think he knows that Lima has so much mobility playing Bayonetta that he'd be able to get out of that pretty much whenever. Well time spot dodge from Lima too, calling out that grab from Oryx. Oh, calling out a roll? I don't know, Oryx hasn't been playing defensive like that. No, not at all. No, his defense is super not panicky. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been doing any like cheeky stealing stages with rolls kind of. Look, he's, he's fighting out of the corner even. Yeah, he's very comfortable in the corner. That comes from playing Peach as well. True. Here Holds we that Rebel's Guard, gets this Arsene. Look at that, kills at 100 post hit. That back air worth noting, mostly base knockback, so it kills really well at the very ledge of the stage. Oh, and now Lima could be in trouble. Does bat within out of that combo, but man, with Arsene online, well, now it's going to be going away because of all this damage Lima's putting on him. Oryx has got to make the most of this little bit of time that he has left. Oh um, my, excuse me? He was at 37. And Lima just barely making it back. I, everybody. He can't recover. He has no jump. <laughs> oh, I would have left the venue. I would have left you to solo commentate that nonsense. So that was a nice jump read. Uh, he, <laughs> got, he did the same thing with down tilt earlier in the set. M has been laughing for like a solid Jeez. minute, dude. <laughs> the fact that he almost set up with down guns after that too, that is no lag if he confirmed off the down guns. Maybe he could have set up a back air or something. Maybe a down air. I don't think you can confirm guns into down air, but you can definitely set up offstage interactions. Lima was really patient and really uh, calm with his recovery after that though. Yep. Which is necessary. You gotta be, I mean, especially because it's all about that resource management as Bayonetta. There's no directly go to ledge with this button. Category. And then there was a really good recognition that after Oryx went for the downward guns, he had to use his double jump to continue pressure. After he whipped that, Lima was like, okay, I'll use my witch twist, set you back off. There was no distance that you could recover after he sent him that far out. And look at this damage that, already. I feel like if that, was that wasn't true, Oryx would have would have Rebel's guarded that, right? So like... 
unclear. I know Oryx doesn't use a lot of Rebel's Guard from what I've seen. He's only used it like once in this first game. He, because of Lima's crazy combo game, Oryx did not get Arsene until 109. Yeah. And he hit him just at the brink of Arsene. Yeah. With the first combo. Oh, he just stood there. He said, how long are you going to hold it, Lima? How long are you going to hold it? Because I can wait all day. The smart thing would have been to charge it from behind him because you can just react to him ending it. Big Look back here, yeah. See, from center stage, not going to kill yet, even in a hundo. Comeback factor is huge, though, once you got Arsene. Arsene, though, is gone, but it's evened up the percent significantly. So I think you definitely got your money's worth out of that one. Ooh, that last fair actually wasn't able to come out because of the position on the platform. So Oryx is holding on to a spot on the stage. Yeah. I, you know what? Honestly, I wouldn't even say that Oryx has been struggling uh, when he doesn't have Arsene. It's just a matter of the fact no, that no. he hasn't gotten to play without Arsene. Not of any fault of his own. Lima's just comboed him into the spirit. Yeah, Lima just does so much damage for each hit. Forward throw sets up a ledge trap here. See what he can do. That was a smart option. Goes for the trump. Catches Lima with the back air. He wasn't ready for that. I mean, of was course, so fast, I didn't catch it. Yeah, I don't expect it to happen much oh! more. He rebels started for so long, he can't make that distance. Lima's so nuts. He goes so deep. So deep. He knows he can make it back, man. Bayonet has got so much distance. Down tilt waits for the option because down, down tilt's not like a real combo starter at 0% of this game. Can I tell you, that uh, that grab from Lima definitely looked like he was still honing in on that Smash 4 stuff, where if you air dodge, you're only going straight down, and it's very easy for him to get that grab, but because of that directional air dodge, he wasn't able to get it. He's just waiting for Oryx to land right in front of him. Now, it's got to be a little bit less waiting, a little bit more hitting once he does find that whiff, because that's the best way to get rid of Arsene, is to hit it out of him, and boy, he is knocking the bejesus out of him. That was a great call on the jump, pulling out the afterburner kick, putting on so much damage. Do you have to respect those guns? You have to treat guns from uh, from this character kind of similar to how you treat Cloud auto cancel down air in four. Mm -hmm. You have to hit him from the side or just back up and get out of the way. Ooh. But imagine Cloud with like Yoshi aerial drift. <laughs> Scary. No, no thanks. Yeah. All right, Oryx not quite gonna make it back again. Lima just goes deep enough that Oryx, without his jump, isn't able to grapple onto that ledge. And Oryx did have to wait a bit to go for that grapple so that he didn't just whiff it because he had been hit too recently. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the distance was too much. What is that? A it's uh, 60, 60 frames, one second that you got to wait? Um, I think it's 55 frames, but close enough, yeah. Yeah, okay. You can, you so can say one second. Yeah, you can say about a second. And Lima, though, putting on all this damage. Arsene's about to not be on for about a second if he keeps getting hit like this. Ooh, okay, nice mix up there. Oh. Oryx didn't react. He has no Arsene. Oh, Lima, you're going so deep. You make me scared. Oh, <laughs> that definitely wasn't have killed. Definitely wouldn't have killed without our send. Fourth throw is not going to do it yet. I don't know about that. Run. Right at the ledge with that much rage. Without our send, he doesn't have the same. Oh, I'm aware he doesn't have the yeah. same oomph, but yeah. Bayonet is also light. I still don't think it would have done it, but we'll see. Uh, I have no proof. Well, Back we'll, we won't see. But, yeah. yeah. Back air is so strong. I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. I just feel like a lot of Joker smashes are. They feel really weak without our set. I think in particular, you're not giving forward smash enough credit. Maybe. I think all of them are but significantly that's... weaker hey, without go, our set. Go into training mode at some point. We'll, yeah. we'll test it out. 